Hi Taurus, this is your weekly June 28th through July 4th tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the world, we have the Three of Cups clarified by the Fool, we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Ace of Wands. In the potential outcome we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands and we also have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, but you could be dealing with pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. So the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. I think this is you, Taurus, male or female. Absolutely doesn't matter. And if we set aside the Queen of Pentacles, what I've noticed in the spread is that we've got pairs. We've got two cups cards, we've got two wands cards, we've got two pentacle cards and we also have two major arcana cards. So to me that is stability and to me that is balance and that's the vibe I'm getting out of this person. Very stable, very balanced out type of a person coming into your life. This person is going to be um, emotional but not too emotional. This person is going to be passionate but not crazy passionate, right? Not lusty. And this person is going to be very stable, very stable and very grounded, right? Someone kind of like you, Taurus, I guess. <laughs> uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, it could be a fellow Earth sign, another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or like I said, this is a very stable offer coming your way, or could be coming your way that could uh, lead to a commitment. We'll talk about that in just a second, right? So like I said, the quick, the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that is you. I really like the fact that your card came out and uh, I especially like the fact that uh, it came out on the bottom of the deck. That to me, that means you're the one in charge and everything pretty much revolves around you. The first card that came out is the world, the first card on the left. The world is my happy end card. This is one chapter of your life coming to an end, but a new, very happy chapter of your life is about to begin. Really like the fact that this reading started with a major arcana and this major arcana in particular. So there's definitely a change, there's definitely a new chapter, there's definitely a new cycle of your life starting. Um, the world could also represent everything remote, so you could be traveling this week, if you are traveling this week, you could be meeting this person while you are away from home at some kind of an event or a gathering or a party because the next card that came out is the Three of Cups, right? The Three of Cups is a card of a party or a gathering or some kind of an event. But it could also mean that uh, this Three of Cups is a card of a union, right? So a new chapter is starting of your life with the World card and you're uniting with this new person. Um, the Three of Cups is clarified by the Fool. The Fool is all about new beginnings. The Fool is taking a leap of faith and pretty much believing that it's going to work out and I think it will. And uh, since you are an Earth sign and Earth signs tend to think things through, um, our signs like to know what's going to happen tomorrow and a week from today and a month from today. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the way you are. But this person um, you're gonna, all that is gonna go out the window pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. You will uh, not be thinking too hard or too much. This person will present themselves in a way that you will trust them. It's gonna be really easy with, with this person and uh, you will have this trust with into them, I guess. You will, you'll trust them and that's why you're taking those slip the sleep of faith with the full card because uh, you're not going to have any doubts about this person's intentions. This person, like I said, is very balanced. Uh, this person is a lot of fun. There's passion and there's also stability. Right? The next card I came out is the Nine of Cups and it's clarified by the Ace of Wands. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true. This is also a card of personal satisfaction. And uh, the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is uh, all about passion, a passionate new beginning. So this is where the two of you will probably uh, start this relationship. It will be based on passion, but at the same time there is going to be trust. There's going to be this blind trust that is going to work out. Right? Um, 
but uh, the ace of wands is only one of the aces. <laughs> In the potential outcome, we have the knight of pentacles with the ace of pentacles and the four of wands. The knight of pentacles could be a fellow earth sign, another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but um, potentially it's going to become very serious and very grounded. I'm not saying it's going to become boring and stale, but this person will come through as someone who is uh, looking at you as someone they want to spend the rest of their life with. And it's kind of symbolic that we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is holding out the Pentacle, and the Ace of Pentacles is right next to it. So I think that's the uh, Pentacle right there that we see in the, in the Knight of Pentacles hands. And uh, to me, this pretty much uh, confirms how serious this person is going to be about you. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of joy, happiness, partying perhaps with the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups, but eventually the two of you will be thinking of what you can do to make this relationship to the next level. And the Four of Wands, the last card that came out in the potential outcome, this is a card of a commitment or marriage. That goes very nicely together with the uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles energies. And uh, the Four of Wands is often called the 11-11 card. So, um, Taurus, just to sum up, I guess, like I said in the beginning, this person is all about balance. This person is the best of all the worlds. People usually say best of both worlds, but I think this person is best of all the worlds. Passionate, fun, and stable. And they are looking to start a committed relationship or even marriage with you in the future. All right, Taurus, really happy for you. Congratulations. Taurus, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads. Depending on how the situation unfolds, we'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person going forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Taurus, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the hangman clarified by temperance, we have the nine of pentacles, we have the Moon and we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. So I think the two of you are either about to get into a fight or, already, or you already did get into a fight. And um, one of you is going to try to heal the situation, to bury the hatchet, but the other person is going to be like, mm, no. <laughs> and I think that's going to be you, Taurus, because we all know how stubborn how stubborn Taurus can be. I'm not judging you, it's just what I see here. Uh, the most important card on the table is the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. And uh, to me, the Two of Cups, and pretty much to everybody, Two of Cups means there's still love, there's lots and lots of love, but one of you just doesn't want to budge. But hopefully you will, <laughs> Taurus, by the end of the week. Um, just uh, make love, not war. And I'm not the one who uh, came up with this phrase. You can look it up, by the way. Uh, the first card I came out is the hangman and is clarified by temperance. So what's on the table is uh, the two of you daring the hatchet. Because temperance is all about healing, getting back together, reconciling, um, forgetting what happened in the past. And it's on hold right now with that hangman. All of that because of the Nine of uh, Pentacles right there in the middle. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of a single person, but um, you see how this person standing up in the Nine of Pentacles got their tur uh, head turned a little bit, so I'm sure you've seen it. Other people do, how they're standing up and they're like turning their head to the side and they're saying no. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm getting out of this Nine of Pentacles in this spread. The Moon card right next to the deck, this is either a Pisces you're dealing with or the Moon is all about depression, sadness, somebody's holding at the Moon here. I don't, I don't think that's you, I think that you, this is your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other who is desperately trying to um, bury the hatchet with you, right? Um, and like I said, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it um, should be the main uh, focal point of this reading, of this spread. The Two of Cups means that there's still love between the two of you. Alright, Taurus, so kiss and make up. <laughs> Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Taurus, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have Judgment, we have uh, the Devil, clarified by Strength. 
we have the two of pentacles in the outcome we have the three of wands with the eight of cups and we also have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a capricorn or a leo um so prepare yourself Taurus. this person coming back from the past first of all they broke your heart second of all i think you still have some feelings for this person so you'll need all the strength you can possibly gather within you to hold back because this person is up to no good and I think you'll be able to manage your feelings towards this person and eventually you'll make up your mind and make your decision to walk away from them alright so judgment the first card that came out this is a card of somebody coming back from the past this is somebody trying to get back into good graces then we have uh, the devil clarified by strength uh, the Devil is the personal Capricorn card, Strength is the personal Leo card, but I think together both of those cards mean that this person is going to be very tempting. So it's going to be very tempting f for you uh, to get back together with them. It's going to be very tempting for them to give them a second chance, but with the Strength card I think you will have or you will need to have Strength to hold back because this person broke your heart once with the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right and I think you'll eventually realize that they will uh, break your heart again if you were to give them a second chance and there you are with the Teal of Pentacles right next to Strength just you know thinking about it, thinking about it, uh, holding back, holding back and uh, in the outcome we have the Three of Wands clarified by the Eight of Cups the Three of Wands is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision and uh, your decision is going to be to walk away with that eight of cups so it's going to be a test for you to uh, Taurus but I think you'll you will after doing all that thinking with the two of Pentacles you'll simply realize that um, it's not going to lead to anything good if you were to rekindle this relationship and therefore you're walking away from them let's talk about your work your business and your finances Taurus this week we have the Knight of Cups clarified by the Eight of Pentacles we have the Queen of Swords we have the Queen of Pentacles and we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an Air sign Gemini Libra or Aquarius I really like this spread so the Queen of Pentacles right next to the deck that is you Taurus male or female absolutely doesn't matter and the Queen of Swords right next to you is the person you'll probably be dealing with and uh, this person either wants to collaborate with you or they want to offer you to start a new business together, a new side gig together, or they want to um, create some kind of an alliance with you. And I know it sounds big, but uh, that's the word I heard, some sort of an alliance. Um, perhaps this person wants you to like them, <laughs> and they will do something good for you. Um, the first card I came out is the Knight of Cups. I think this is them just doing something nice for you or they're making you an offer or they could ask you out for a happy hour to grab a drink together or something like that. It doesn't have to be an adult beverage. It could be a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, right? Anything. But with the Knight of Cups, like I said, this is them approaching you in a very nice way, um, very pleasant way because they do like you and they want to work together with you or they want to make you some sort of an offer um, that you will most likely like and accept the Knight of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles the Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business and finances so this is <laughs> related to work, business and finances and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right this is a card of a wish come true this is also a card of personal satisfaction so whatever this person wants to talk to you about uh, you will be definitely satisfied with the fact itself that they're coming towards you. Um, so hopefully something productive can come out of this. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen to us this week. We have Justice, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Libra. What you're not expecting is something is going to go in your favor. Um, something you wished for, something you manifested, something you really wanted, I guess. Um, so let's talk about that. The first card I came out is Justice. Justice, by the way, is the personal Libra card. You could be dealing with a Libra. Justice could represent the legal system. So if you're suing someone or if someone is suing you, it's going to go in your favor. Or Justice is all about something uh, going in your favor in general, something you really wanted, something that's being fair to you 
perhaps you lost all hope that whatever it is is not going to go in your favor but it is going to go in your favor this is what you're not expecting the nine of cups right next to the deck this is a card of a wish come true or this is a card of personal satisfaction so you'll be definitely satisfied you if you wished for something to um, go in your favor it is going in your favor and the magician on the bottom of the deck this is something you really wanted something you manifested something you've been trying to um, get I guess for a long time right um, so yeah something is gonna go in your favor alright Taurus so that's what I got for you for this week if this video resonates with you please like it and other than that Taurus have an amazing week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing